most of us would have been known to this story and the story is very famous at least I used to use two decades ago in uh, my training programs I think most of most of the trainers know I think most of the trainers and facilitators would be using this story when it comes to um, a human nature uh, the lived one saint uh, and at the riverside he was uh, there to take a bath and he sees a, a scorpion a scorpion bichu in great trouble he was uh, threatened by a certain other animals and without any second thought he, he picks up the scorpion uh, at his bare palm and uh, he tries to save the life of the scorpion by putting it at a very safer place and while doing so yes you got it while doing so the scorpion stings he spreads its poisons and and, and the saint is in unbearable pain and uh, you know uh, and the question comes you know why why the why, why the saint was not using any stick over there or some some object to drag away the animals which were trying to kill the scorpion and then he would have with the help of the stick would have you know uh, help you on the scorpion at a better place but sometimes ladies and gentlemen boys and girls you know the degree of empathy the degree of love and compassion is to that eye that we don't think in fact all those empathetic beings the loving beings basically operate from the heart center not from the head not from the logic not from the doubt not from the consequences and all you know he just sees the sees someone some being irrespective of irrespective of the species could be human being or maybe an animal or bird or even even a plant you know? he just throws himself at the at the risk of his own life and uh, try to save that particular being now you know uh, it's well debated that uh, should we not you know uh, stay should we not uh, avoid the negative people i keep saying yes better if you avoid the negative people why do you invite problems for you even buddha says you know, when it comes to self defense one needs to uh, protect even all enlightened masters in fact they say that one need to protect self one need to protect families the nations yeah but our uh, innate nature net net our basic nature intrinsic nature is basically love and the quicker we know the sooner we know we will be living in great peace it is not the it is not the it's my personal you know uh, practice it's my personal uh, perspective it's not the nuclear arms but the clear arms basically can save the world but at the same time we need to we need to protect ourselves uh, by having all those uh, sophisticated things which is why the enemy will not dare to uh, make a life trouble sham yes uh, and common sense look at look at any farm any field jo kheti hoti hai उसके इर्द गिर्द हम फेंसिंग लगाते हैं ताकि जो अन्य जो जानवर है वो आ ना आए और हमारी खेती बाड़ी को नष्ट ना करे तबाह ना करें वी नीड टू प्रोटेक्ट आर सेल्फ राइट सो बट एट द सेम टाइम वी आर नॉट हेयर टू ट्रबल सामान टू अनेसरी टॉर्चर सामान एंड वी शुड लिव इन आवर बेसिक नेचर ऑफ लाभ लेडीज एंड जर्मन बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स विश यू वेरी हैप्पी ईस्टर वॉट डे टू डे डे ऑफ रिसरेक्शन डे ऑफ राइजिंग एंड we all celebrate this day on which lord jesus could resurrect himself and so he is rising uh, if you ask me uh, out of uh, if you ask me what is the spiritual take away i would say the point at which you arrive where you remain compassionate towards all at all times that's basically spiritual intelligence and that doesn't mean that you know uh, you won't be uh, Uh, you won't be you know a bitter towards people at times you know our mother slaps us for our own good but that's again a slap of compassion isn't it it's basically not living life in hate result, resulting into violence and bloodshed and so on and so forth right you know uh, where there are people with different opinions staying together they they, they will make noise and I, and it's okay absolutely fine but and, and there is a beauty there is a great message because he is having another you know opinion you are having another opinion and we are able to complement these opinions this different thought process that's actually uh, making the life making the world more holistic more better so the saint says if 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 the scorpion is uh, not able to give away his his basic instinct his nature of not spreading the poison why i should give away uh, my nature of remaining compassionate towards him at all times So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on this very great occasion of resurrection, of Happy Easter, if I may pick this book today in in our book reading series, this is the 83rd book in our book reading series, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is by Laurie Beth Jones. Laurie Beth Jones, teach your team to fish. T 
teach your team to fish. I repeat, teach your team to fish. It's a common common saying that, you know, don't give your people the fish, you know, uh, rather, rather teach them how to fish, how to fish. But this book is quite old. This book, you know, I had picked up at least two decades ago and uh, I found it very, very profound. Though I have gone through Bible and um, most of the things uh, from this book are, are biblical and great learnings. And in fact, I personally love to walk with all men and I learn from all enlightened masters. Yeah. And uh, just to run through the contents of this book, it's basically, uh, he excited them, I mean Jesus. Uh, then second is, he grounded them. Third is, he transformed them. Fourth is, he released them. And each, um, and each mega chapter, you know, there are certain sub chapters, for example, he excited them. He turned work into cause, he taught community, he gave a clear path to advancement. Yeah. And uh, as you know, I don't get into as you know, I don't get into the details of the book because uh, I, I don't like to spoil the enthusiasm. Rather, I pick one chapter, and he, uh, you know, and here I am uh, when it comes to this chapter. And uh, the chapter is he knew the power of presentation. He knew the power of presentation. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs which he was performing. John, uh, in this chapter, you know, they are talking about how Jesus used to uh, make his talks very interactive, definitely out of compassion, compassion, and compassion. And he used to tell them stories, he used to make it very entertaining. He used to have heart-to-heart -heart communication. For me, Jesus is an embodiment of love. Jesus is the message. Jesus embodied love in all his encounters. Even on this day of crucifixion, he was praying to God that God, please forgive them because they don't know what they are doing. Yeah. So, um, the questions come here in the context of organization. First one, when was the last time you gave your team an exciting presentation, one that was talked about even weeks later, so that people could, you know, uh, could remember that, that particular presentation. So, I'm not going to get into the, the, the techniques or the how part when it comes to the presentation skills. Definitely one needs to learn that, you know. And, uh, what do you need to add or change in your approach to train your team in exciting ways? Whom could you enlist to help you? Whom should you know? So dear Lord, from start to finish, you have their attention. Teach me those skills and give me heart that, that, that's passionate enough to utilize them, to use them. Amen. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, Laurie Beth Jones has also authored Jesus the CEO, the, the world's best seller. Yeah? And uh, this is really awesome book. This is really awesome book. Yeah. If I may uh, share my own experience, and I keep seeing this for last more than two decades, that only the person who is present, 100% in the present, can only present the best person. That doesn't mean personally, uh, I follow that, that one should not learn, one should not learn from the past, or one should not plan for the future. But when you are performing, when you are interacting, when you are being, when, when you are with someone, where you are engrossed in certain process or studying something, for for that moment, you know, it's moment to moment. In that moment, that that thing, that person, that place, that process, that phenomena, is like God, is God. The most important time is now. The most important person is the person you are dealing with now. Yeah, and the most important thing to do is to give your hundred percent to that particular process, the person, the phenomena that happening. This is what you know, and uh, many times when it comes you know to communication, as I say, communication is definitely uh, speaking and listening. It is the receiver and the sender. But somehow we focus on sender. Somehow we you know focus on speaking skills. You know? If you ask me, speaking, you know, who is the king of speaking? You know? Who is the king to speak? You know, is the person who is able to listen. Listen, L-I-S-T and listen. Listen from that word. There is one profound word which, which happens. You can make it basically silent. Silent. Spiritual silence, mental silence, emotional silence, intellectual silence. So, uh, but sometimes when we, when, when we interact with someone uh, after a long gap and we have certain points to, to share. So, uh, we just keep saying, you know, few things. And then we, we explain that the other person 
abruptly says, yeah, this what, you know, he, he also wants to say something. Then, then you little get, a, then you little get annoyed and says, wait, no, I want to say something. Why don't you listen? Just listen, listen, listen. I want to say something. So I would say in the beginning only, if you say that I have these three, four points, number one, so and so, number two, so and so, number three, so and so, and then you can say, yeah, uh, you, you, know, you want to say something? So let's, let's make it very progressive. Let's make it very interactive. But and, and now I would say, by, by any chance, if you forget to enumerate the things, your points, you know, uh, you should be ready to, to accept someone in between abruptly saying something and you know, making her or his point. That's okay, no problem. You listen, that's fine, no problem, and then you respond. If you ask me, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for me, leadership, leadership is more to listen. You have seen people, you know, First of all, they will, they will try to instill this kind of thing, you know, this discipline. Listen, listen, listen. But are they actually listening? Huh? One has to be very honest. One has to be very honest. Lucky I am that I work with bosses, with leaders, who, who exhibited a great degree of, you know, listening skills. They listen. And in fact, you know, as a great listener, as a great leader, you know, when you allow people to speak, you are allowing them to vent out their emotions, uh, verbalize their ideas, whatever the way they are, and you will come to know what actually they are up to. You know the story. You now, you, you know what they are going through. Going through. You know the symptoms. Then actually, you can give some you know good solutions, or you know your talk would be more more you know, focused, more directed towards the solution. You know, that's what it is. When it comes to, uh, for example, you know, uh, medical life, uh, unless and un until you don't know the symptoms, why, why uh, there is fever. Uh, so doctors, you know, they uh, without proper diagnosis cannot give proper treatment or proper medicine. They cannot prescribe. So ease in communication. One should be able to listen. Even when it comes to selling skills for a salesman, one needs to showcase high degree of listening skills. So there are different kinds of listening, you know, empathetic listening, passive listening, you know, active listening. There are different kinds of listening. But listening is listening that you just keep aside your mental lines, your emotional lines. You truly empathize the person and then listen. You should be in communion with each other. That is a high degree of communication. When it comes to presentation, you know, you, you, you need to make it very, very holistic. That's what the takeaway from, from this chapter. Teach your team to fish. There are you know, many chapters, many, many chapters. So uh, let's go explore and co-evolve. Wish you again very happy Easter. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care.